Hi everybody, how you doing? Today what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about uh, using vector tools to create um, comic or inking styles uh, using vector art. And what I have here is an example of a drawing done by Jeff Smith. He's most well known for creating Bone, the fantasy series, um, with this character over here on the side. And uh, this drawing here in particular, it's got Bone and Usagi Ujimbo. I think it was a tribute drawing for Stan Sakai. Some of you may know who that is. If you look at this drawing, it's actually an original ink drawing. And it was done in blue pencil first. And then Jeff Smith came over the picture and redrew it using inking tools. And it looks to me like he used an ink brush and maybe some other micron pens uh, to create the inking style. Uh, what I love about this style is just the variable line quality, how it goes from solid blacks to thick and thin lines indicating different folds and shapes uh, on the characters. There's a lot of variety and it creates a much more interesting and dynamic character when you use that, um, that stylization. Now most illustrator lines by default are boring and so we need to make some adjustments to our tools to get more interesting and organic lines. And that's what we're going to focus on here. So as you may know, if I draw with the pen tool, by default I get that square symmetrical line. And the best way to adjust it and to change that stroke is to use the stroke line profiles. You can find those here uh, at the bottom of the palette. So you would select the profile and switch to one of the variable shapes to give that stroke a mo more interesting quality. And so then your job would be to use your pen tool to redraw that character and then stylize the lines as needed to create that inking quality, adjusting the size and style as you go. But if you don't want to be so precise and you'd rather draw in a more organic or natural way, you can also use some of the freehand tools. Um, in this case, I want to look at the pencil tool. And I've chosen the pencil tool for a couple of reasons. First, the paintbrush introduces a variety of other settings that I really don't want to worry about right now. I'd rather just stick to a, a, a black line. So just down and dirty directly, I want that pencil tool to give me a, a black line, not worry about any of the other variables. So that's why I like using it. But there are a few more things we have to do in preparation to get the pencil to work and to behave. As you can see, when I draw with a pencil, by default, it's making all the lines the same size. Um, even if I change it, which you can do, selecting a profile and adjusting that drawn line, as soon as I go back to drawing with a pencil, it resorts to that, um, that simple basic line. That is really annoying. And it's one of those settings in Illustrator that can be really frustrating. I don't know why this is the default, but there is a workaround. So to work around this and to get the pencil tool to behave, what we need to do is go to the window menu and we need to open the appearance palette. The appearance palette stores a lot of things, different attributes and settings that have been applied to lines and objects. But for us, with that appearance palette open, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the drop down menu on the side. And what I'm looking for is this new art has basic appearance setting. That is the setting that's causing all the trouble. See how it has a little check mark? That means no matter what you do, your tool is going to return to the default setting. So I need to uncheck it. So I go back and look, it's unchecked. That means that if I stylize a line and get it to be what I want, the next line I draw is going to adopt that new style. Way better. 
this is what you want. You want to be able to set up that line thickness and then repeat it and not have to worry about redoing it. All right, here's another little thing that happens while you're drawing with the pencil tool. Sometimes as you draw, if you draw too close to the original, it'll actually um, keep it connected and keep it selected. So if you want to adjust other things with the pencil, you need to go over to the toolbar and double click the pencil. That pulls up a new dialog box. So here we have some settings. First setting is the top one and this is going to change and auto smooth our lines. So let's say if we're drawing and it's kind of jittery, if we auto smooth it, that line's going to improve. Um, Illustrator is going to correct what we draw. The other pesky setting I was talking about is this one here, keep selected. If you uncheck that, that's going to make it much easier. So when you draw, Illustrator lets go of the lines and it's just like painting with a brush. You can get those lines exactly where you want them. Now, if you decide, hey, I need to adjust something, don't worry. You can always press Command, select that line, go back to your stroke setting, change it, and then from that point on, Illustrator is going to remember that line quality for your pencil. So personally, I think the pencil is faster um, than the pen tool, but the pen tool is more precise. So you kind of have to decide which one you're going to use when you start drawing your uh, artwork. All right, thanks. See you next time.